I see y'all. Looking kind of sus. Sus. <laughs> but hey, what's going on, guys? So Ricky Shadark is here. Man, that feels weird to say again. It's been a while. <laughs> it really has. It really has. Mm -hmm. But I miss it. I miss I miss vlogging like I used. I miss vlogging like I used to. <laughs> but we are at. Le Café Beignet. Le Café Beignet, thank you. I can never get pronunciation of these things right. <laughs> but we're on our way to Pensacon. It's gonna be great. We are uh, currently in uh, Biloxi, Mississippi. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. Right. Th I think the viewers can get like a general idea. Uh -huh. I think. <laughs> I hope we're it. We're in Mississippi. Yeah, that's the big, that's the big point. Yeah. And we are here with Court, of course, constantly. And Stella Axel. Hello, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired, I'm bad. Why did you name me this way? <laughs> <laughs> um, we're on our way traveling to Pensacola for Pensacon. Yes. Yes. And uh, I think it's like, how far do we have left? Uh, about an hour and a half to two hours, just about. Oh, yeah. We need to go back a little bit for this place. True. Speaking of which, I actually uh, drove for, I actually drove on the freeway for the first time. Heart wrenching. But I'm genuinely proud of myself though. So yeah, big step forward, big progress, character development. <laughs> character development arc has just begun. Apparently. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're on our way there. It's gonna be great. I don't know if we'll film on the on route over there while I'm driving. That really depends on him. Uh, but yeah, um, hopefully we'll get back with you guys. Like, hopefully this hopefully this vlog will take to won't take like half hour. <laughs> but yeah, just wanted to check in with you guys because it's been great. We miss talking with you guys because it's been a long time. But uh, we'll see you guys back in. Like a few seconds for y'all. Look at his truck full of puppies. He's even a little bin full of them too. I got stuff from Bucky's. You know what's the funny thing? Like, I didn't expect Bucky's to be. Where is the car? I need to figure out where, I, where the car is because I don't remember where we park, where where we parked. But funny thing, because like, we're in Alabama at the moment. And there's a Bucky's in Alabama. Why don't I make it Alabucky's? <laughs> that was a joke that uh, my that uh, my Court that Court and I had the same exact thought on for a bit, and they beat me to the punch just a, just a second before, and I'm just like, oh dang it. <laughs> so that was fun. I need to figure out where, where the heck we park. But yeah, we're in Alabama at the moment. I just thought I'd vlog again because. I love that because like that joke I was just like that's going to the vlog. <laughs> Make sure that you're up against the back silver. Are you ready? This is as far back as they can go. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Ah! <laughs> 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 the tradition continues. Yes. Look at all this cream. But soon. I'm bleeding though. It hurts. But, nicely shaved arms. This will help a lot. Yee. Yeah. Well, I've seen her around here. Ever since I've been walk I've been walking around for some time. Really nice person. Oh, God. <laughs> but, hey guys. So, it is day one of Pensacon. And, uh, I got done watching the, uh, pop culture, uh, sh film fest. Oh, that was, it was great. I, uh, because, as you guys know, I'm a very big, uh, pop culture enthusiast myself. So I had to, so it was kind of a necessary, it was kind of a, a net, a need, a necessary, uh, thing that I needed to go. And I, um, they showcased five different movies. Um, I'll put the titles of all five of them, what all five were, um, because uh, it's a little hard to vlog and then try to remember all that from the top of my head. <laughs> but so far, the, the the panel was fun. It was great. The uh, 
The host was definitely great too. Um, Popper. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it was great. I had fun. The uh, I'm on my way to go back go back and uh, check on with uh, Court and Nash. Um, so I'll be reunited with them in a bit. Cause we're gonna, cause uh, I'm, I am the hunger. I, I need, I am, I am big hungry. <laughs> yeah. For those that are curious, I'm cosplaying as a uh, femme, uh, I mean, Hanet Solo. <laughs> Fem Han? Hanet? Ha, Hana? Hana? That's actually not a bad idea for a name. <laughs> I don't know. Yep, okay. <laughs> uh, if you could voice any character in any media besides the characters you do now, who would it be? Any character in any... Media. Any media type at all. I am a huge fan of The Mandalorian. You guys like The Mandalorian? <laughs> you know what? If you are an aspiring voice actor, I had this conversation with somebody recently. If you're an aspiring voice actor, you should watch The Mandalorian, and you should watch it from the perspective of how much emotion they're able to convey in very controlled, stoic ways with no facial expressions in that show. Yes. It's really quite amazing if you watch it looking for stuff like that. That said, I would love to show up and be uh, uh, some sort of, I think like The Mandalorian's cranky uncle. I think, uh, <laughs> I could do that a lot of justice, and uh, that would be fantastic. You know, I, I just want to go off on that tangent for a minute. Like, watching the man of our, Pablo Pascal, with his voice, he's, he's, it's a, an amazing combination of on-camera, physical, or something on stage, physical acting, but completely voice acting at the same time. Because you're hearing him, yet there's a visual and an an aural element and it's it's stunning like what what he does in, in that suit is amazing mm -hmm. it's almost like you forget that you're not looking at a face you feel like you're seeing the, the person anyway um i go I, I i still need some time to think on my <laughs> on my there's too many uh yeah uh, well i mean there'd be because the question was if we wanted to voice anything in any yeah. okay i mean i already mentioned disney but i I would love to voice Harley Quinn. <laughs> Seems like I'm a Batman. And not that I think anyone who's currently Harley Quinn is, I mean, I don't think I could do better. I just think it would be really fun to be Harley Quinn. And I thought she was a really fun character because I used to watch the Kevin Conroy Batman. Yes. My brother and I loved that growing up. And uh, I just always thought she was fun. Um, yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, anything Disney. I'm trying to think of like, a live, you, you were mentioning live action stuff. Um, I'm sure there are more. I need to like write this kind of stuff down. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I recently, like a couple summers ago, went back and watched in, not in film release order, but in chronological order, all the Marvel movies. Ooh. Um, oh. It was really cool to watch them in chronological order. Because oh, yeah, you watch like, you. oh god, <laughs> oh, maybe, <laughs> maybe like eight months oh, or something. Okay. But it was awesome. So there is a part of me that like after doing that would love to be um, something in the uh, in the Marvel universe. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing that I like that I'm attracted to that is kind of really boring is like narration. Like I love a good documentary film mm -hmm. narrator. Like Liam Schreiber does the voice of like HBO Sports, mm -hmm. and it's very simple stuff. But like there's so much texture and David light. In it. Yeah, David Ackman. Like. Peter Coyote is an amazing narrator. There's something, because to me it's the true essence of like, you really just being a storyteller. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, I'm attracted to that in some way, so I would love an opportunity to do things like that. Favorite so, line your character sucks. Yeah. Um, Thank you. So, uh, so my character, Aizawa, is, uh, he's the teacher of class 1A. Mm -hmm. And my favorite line that he says, he says it in every season, uh, he says it in almost every episode that he appears in, and it is this. Yeah, I can't. I mean, um, my favorite line 
is and was. Hey, Midoriya, what do you call my secret love child? <laughs> say that in every episode, but I wish I did. <laughs> oh, man. May's just so in and out. Um, I, one of my favorite lines that she says is uh, when they're, they meet her after the sports festival and Ida's like, you used me to, you know, show off your wares, and she's like, never heard of ya! <laughs> Little flowers. So we're heading back to the hotel room because um, Court's um, wig is starting to itch. Question mark. Oof. And uh, I have an eye problem. <laughs> Makeup out in the sun is not fun. As you guys might have noticed, we did go to the uh, My Hero Q and A, uh, which was that was really funny. That was that was fun. And we also went to the. What was the name of the of that panel we last went to? The uh, Brief History of Horror Music. Okay. <laughs> and then we also went to the Brief History of Horror Music. Thank you. Um, yeah, we're gonna be just heading back to the hotel, chill for a bit. Not sure what else after until until the next day. But uh, I'm a little sad because like there's not a lot of Star Wars cosplay today. They're probably saving more of them for tomorrow. I'm willing to assume. Really? Yeah, so the 501st was on the first floor with a bunch of stormtroopers as well as some tree lights and Oh, that's cool. We're heading back over there, head back to the hotel, so I'll catch you guys. We'll catch you guys soon. <laughs>